Okay, so I've been working on this uh, North State 10 inch table saw. Not necessarily a vintage machine, but very much related to vintage machines for a few reasons. One is because it's basically a clone of the Delta Unisaw. Um, the internal parts are modeled after the Unisaw. Uh, it's produced in Taiwan. And uh, a lot of the companies, Jet, Grizzly, Shop Fox, etc., uh, basically they make all the same stuff and just badge it different in different paint schemes. And a lot of their machines are. Um, clones of Unisaws or, uh, excuse me, Delta machines or Powermatic machines. So it's somewhat related and certainly here there may be some things that uh, could be applicable and um, uh, helpful to, to folks working on either these machines or other Taiwanese made machines or even vintage machines. So in this case, uh, as I said, it's very similar in design to the Unisaw. Internal parts are, are uh, really a clone for the most part. The one thing that uh, North State and some of these other Taiwanese manufacturers did is they used a uh, mounting plate here uh, to mount the motor uh, to the uh, motor bracket. And that's different. The Unisaw has the, the, the mounting uh, bracket right on the motor. Um, so this machine had a three-phase motor. I bought it at auction. And uh, the three-phase motor um, was uh, not a traditional frame size. There's no frame size on it. It's very common with these Taiwanese manufacturers where they they don't use NEMA frame motors which makes sense it's not North America or Canada or places where NEMA frame size motors are more common um, but it's very hard then to find a replacement the shaft sizes and the dim dimensions of the motors very rarely line up properly so what I did instead is uh, I found a 56 frame motor uh, and then I just drilled new holes into this mounting bracket and I made sure that my uh, spacing was the same, that the distance of the shaft from the bracket here was the same as it was for the original motor uh, that's over there in the corner now. And as long as my spacing from here to here is uh, the same, then the pulley should line up with the, the arbor pulley. Uh, the other thing I had to do is also buy a different pulley. And I could not, you can't really find three uh, groove pulleys very commonly anymore with that narrow spacing. So I got a two groove pulley with spacings that will line up with two of these three pulleys. And running two belts on a machine like this should be fine. Uh, three belts is a bit of overkill, especially with modern belts, unless you're running them all day, 24-7. So I found a, you know, a single phase replacement here and um, just made those modifications to make it work. Uh, a lot cheaper than buying the proprietary motor from uh, uh, a company that, that uh, uh, supplies North State uh, parts and um, just something that may be applicable to other machines, uh, sort of a way around that uh, frustrating problem of uh, proprietary motors. Jet does the same thing and charges an arm and a leg for a replacement motor on their machines. You can get around that by fabricating something up like this. but. Uh, just uh, something to, uh, to learn there. So installing the motor on this machine is very similar to how I would do a unisaw. I've got my stool, I'll put the motor between my knees and uh, use my arms and my uh, forearms to sort of brace it in place. I'll put the pin through and then tighten the bolts. Apologize for the camera angle here. Okay, so my replacement pulley for the motor arrived and I'm gonna have to do a two groove pulley uh, with a 5 8 bore because this uh, new motor I put on here, a single phase, two horsepower motor. The original was a three phase, five horse with a um, uh, non-traditional uh, diameter for the shaft. It's because uh, it was a Taiwanese motor, it wasn't a NEMA frame. And so swapping out the motor, you know, we can't just put this on there and it was even too big to use uh, like sleeves, pulley sleeves or, or bushings of some sort. So I'm gonna go with the two groove, uh, which will be plenty. Uh, Three belt design is, is more than enough for a uh, saw like this. And these line up uh, just right. So that'll be just right. We'll get it on the um, shaft in here, lined up with the motor, and then we'll move it back and forth with some belts to make sure that everything's aligned just right. But I'm pretty, very pleased with this, uh, this pulley. This will be a good swap out for this uh, North State. Taiwanese table saw. Alright, so I've got the motor pulley on and belts. Like I said, we're going to run it with two. 5 8 shaft on the motor, 5 8 bore on the pulley. Spacings are just right. Everything's lined up. Tighten the set screws. Tighten the motor bracket. Let's fire up here.
pretty happy with that. Not bad. And here she is, all done, the North State table saw. Uh, as we talked about, the internal parts are sort of modeled after unisaws. Um, put the new motor on, new starter, new wiring. Uh, had to switch out a pulley, motor pulley. And now she's all done, ready to go. Not vintage machinery, but related. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope the video has been helpful for you. Feel free to subscribe using the subscribe link. And if you've benefited from the channel and enjoy what you see here, consider donating by using the PayPal link that's on my banner picture on my YouTube channel homepage. I put out a video per week. Hope they're helpful. Anything else I can do, contact me. Thanks a lot.